So hello everybody and welcome back. Um, we're going to be having a look at a Yale rim cylinder. Um, this one here, it's still in its packaging. So it'll be an out of the packet pick. And we'll be looking at everything associated with that. Apart from gutting, because I don't intend to gut this. But first, here's a standard rim cylinder. It's called a rim cylinder and um, you can usually identify them by the round face of the lock like this and they usually are seen on wooden doors sometimes interior office doors on older buildings anyway this one is all brass body the newer standard Yale cylinders sometimes have a cap on top and the body is made of like a I don't know kind of zinky kind of metal with a brass colored plate that is folded over the front but this is the older style better in my opinion and um, we're just going to do a comparison so first of all this standard cylinder um, rim cylinder you can see it has a tail piece there and it's, which is held in with the clip there little round clip it says Yale on the front and it's five pin stacks, so you can see that there, one, two, three, four, five, five pin stacks. No drill protection, no bump protection. There is some anti-pick protection in these, usually two spools, um, I think in chambers two and four, but uh, I think that might vary depending on the lock. Anyway, no drill protection or anything. And uh, to that, that is standard security. Now to compare that with this bargain, this was actually only $13, which was way underpriced on their half, but they should have they could have, shall we say, you know, charged more, but they only charged $13. Maybe it's because they're not selling locks as much as they used to. Who knows, maybe eBay or something like that or Amazon is taking some of their markets away anyway $13 for a high security rim cylinder is not bad so um, let's just cut it out of the packaging so on. this uh, plastic packaging is always a challenge and the sad part is it can be more of a challenge than some locks when it comes to picking It's tougher, not challenging, just tougher. Um, you have to be careful though when you're removing these lemon blister packs. The plastic can be kind of sharp around the edges, and if you're not careful, you might cut your your hand on the plastic edges. So, I don't know if I've cut that enough. Probably not. Okay, and we'll cut it closer to this edge here. And try that again. Yeah. So there's all of our contents. And let's just get this. It comes with instructions, but I don't need the instructions, but they, they come with that. I have enough experience with locks to know how to install one. Thank you. Let me get this out so we can have a look at it now. So there's the cylinder. It sends comes with four keys, which is really nice, and the screws for holding the cylinder in and the ring that goes around it. So as we can see here, it says Yale. Yale are a good brand. Um, they took over all of Chubb's door hardware, by the way, and um, Union took over Chubb's padlocks and so on. 
But anyway, this rim cylinder, it says it protects against common attack methods for increased security. I wouldn't call picking a common attack method, but bumping and drilling, yes. Not that they're saying that. Um, see, high security. Mm, I guess that's just saying it's for wooden doors. It's a barcode, 10 year guarantee. That's the uh, security rating, British standard. And secured by design. Police preferred specifications. My security. And then on the back. What does it say? I saw a master chain in there in the shop as well. Square link chain. A 10 millimeter chain. Pretty good for also a really low price. But uh Back to this features easily replaces existing door rim cylinders, like this one for example. Compatible with all brands of night latch, i.e. the little box on the inside of the door that you use to open the lock from the um, from the inside. Provides key access from one side of the door, so from the outside. Anti pick, anti drill, anti bump six pin cylinder so in comparison to this one this one has six pins for extra pick and bump resistance and drill resistance and we can see it has that kite mark one star kite mark and this product has been independently tested to, and meets British standard of that rating and those are just some tools you need just say never take the cylinder apart never oil or paint the cylinder lubricate to lubricate use WD-40 or similar products um, well I, I'm not going to be taking this apart but unless you've got experience like you're a locksmith or you've a lock sporter and you know what you're doing probably better off leaving it intact I still won't be taking this one apart, but we will be testing out the um, pick resistance. But before we do that, let's just have a look at the body of this lock. Now we can see, let's get our pointer, and just go side by side comparison. This one we can see no drill resistance. Uh, clearly there's six pins in here. And we know there's five in here because you can see the five holes. No drill resistance. Drill, drill anti-drill pin here. Drill anti-drill pin there. Pins there to protect the pin stack. And another anti-drill pin there. Now, if you're wondering what these two are for, are for, sometimes rather than drilling all the pins, the locksmith will drill one hole there and one hole there. And that's just drilling out these screws. Now criminals can do the same thing so to protect and add protection resistance to that attack they added anti-drill pins to make that more difficult and buy more time and if the, if the criminals try to go for the pin stack there's an extra pin to drill through and we've got two anti-drill um, inserts there to make drilling more challenging. So that's the drill protection. There might be drill protection in this on the core itself. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Um, so yeah, probably is. And uh, drill protection, right? Bump protection, the bump key. So to protect against a bump key. Let's see this one here that I made myself. See, it's not the key for the lock, but that goes in here, and this is a bump key, and this bump key is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a six pin bump key, and it's got anti-bump protection, so it should add resistance against bumping, which is a good thing, because this one doesn't. And pick resistance, so you also have pick resistance, but something just worth appreciating. Look how smooth that key goes in and out of the lock. 
that's how lock, good quality lock should behave and when you turn the key it shouldn't feel gritty good quality there's our key got six cuts and for more pick resistance or make it awkward we've got the paracentric keyway as well so I'm going to pick this now just to test the anti-pick resistance try a rake on it and hopefully that keeps us out and then on top of that we'll try and pick it with a hook um, but I, my expectations are that at the very least this lock will resist raking attacks highly and uh, yeah let's do that now so I've got to put it in a in the vise so I'll get the vise and we will zoom the lock out or the camera out and we'll have to put the lock in the vise okay so he's now in the vise I just have to tighten him up first though don't like that I'm just gonna maybe take these rubber thingamajiggies off so that it can sit inside that little groove in our device alright now let's test that it works Zoom in on the cylinder. Yay. So, still works. Nice and smooth. Okay. Let's grab our picks. And go with some common rakes. So, we'll use this attempt to pick it with the snake and with the bow guitar and need the bottom of the keyway attention I guess to try and make our life easier so let's try this one so there we go tensioning that and let's see if we can rake it Hopefully it gives us a false set or something interesting. So let's just scrub those pins. I have not really felt any False sets, okay, they are dropped into a little bit of a false set now. And I don't think breaking is going to do any more now. So, it fell into a false set. That means there are security pins in there, as they advertised. Let's just try the other way, just to make sure. Try and... Here we can rake it. Okay, it dropped into a full set again. So it's got security pins, probably not going to rake unless you know how to get out of that. Let's try the bow guitar. So scrub the pins with the bow guitar. Sometimes when a bow guitar is used, the yeah, it's in a full set again. The when the pin stacks bind like that, bind like that, it will um, trap the bow guitar in there, so you have to reset it. You now with this profile, so. 
just falling into a false set. See, it fell into the false set there. So, a novice picker is probably going to find this more of a challenge. And note that we haven't put the lock in the door, so putting the lock in the door is actually going to make it far more tricky to pick. And I know that because from my experience picking a lock in a door, it has been tricky and mildly uncomfortable and tiring, physically tiring. Now let's try and pick it my way. Alright, so my way or the highway. So you're not going to just rake it as we have established. I'm not even going to use a rake, I'll just use my pick. Now, I will just pretend that it opens to the right. And I want to use this hook to perhaps pick pins with. So I'll put the hook in. Okay, got it around the warding. So now I have to go through all the pin stacks. <coughs> See, this is awkward now because the pick is getting stuck because of that restrictive keyway. It restricts the movement even with this thinner shafted pick. So I might try the thinner one. And that one is, I think, regular 25 thousandths. And this one is thinner. Not that sure what the size is, but you should be able to help us maneuver around corners and stuff better. So pin one, just pin two, maybe something. Pin three, picking as I'm turning around that warding. Pin four, okay, here's pin four, five, Okay, six. Five. Four. Three. Two is binding. Two. Three, or sorry, one, one, seven, one, nothing, pin two, nothing, pin three, nothing. Pin four to get around that warding. There we go. Nothing. Five. I think pin five is binding. Okay. And pin six. Let's move this pick back and test those pins. I'm going to go quiet now and just focus on the lock here. I think you get the picture though, I'm going through all the pins, trying to test them. So 
so far. We do have pick resistance though. That's all you want. Mainly the drill and bunk protection, but pick resistance is yeah, can't go wrong with that. Uh, with having that I mean. Can't be a bad thing to have that feature. Another thing about the paracentric keyways, if you do have a cheap set of picks, a cheap set of picks will struggle. Struggle a bit. Just trying to find that. That's pin three. Pin four, five. Nice. Around the back. Okay. Try the thicker hook. This one, it's the same pick, I believe, but I will have to put him all the way to the back, I think, to get him around the restrictive keyway. There we go. A little bit of extra thickness has helped. I think. Just want to make sure our pick is in there now. I'm going to pull pick forwards. They click around the back there. Those security pins are playing their part in the back there. You can just imagine how annoying this would be trying to pick it in a, a door. See why someone might try use the bumping method or another one. So okay. the keyway is restrictive and it's really making getting this hook a little bit tricky to navigate but we need that hook to get around the warding okay next one clicks around that back pin I think it is. Let's pull the pick forwards and try and work these pins. Hopefully not snap anything. <laughs> Alright, that one. my picking style a little. I think there might be something done. I wonder if there's any undercutting or anything. Some of these pins feel picked but they might not be. They might just be security pins. Two. All right. Pin one. 
One, two, three, four. I'm sure four is doing something. near the back there I'm trying to pick but he's not quite cooperating and I might try something a little different here I do have another few options I take this multi pick here See if he can help me get onto the pin that I'm trying to get onto. Alright, back to the back. Let's have a look. So that's pin six. Pin stack five. Four. Four feels picked. Three feels loose. No. Two maybe. What? He looks picked based on the picks behavior. For something though that indicates some anti pick. Be something and they're acting like a teep in for all I know. So my guess is there's something in there acting with like spools or maybe T pins. It would be cool if there were some rattlesnake pins in there, but we won't know right now. Not today anyway. Take a different hook of mine. This this one here. This is a favorite. And Oopsie Daisy. Let's see if I can finish this stock off with this pin pick. loose, two is loose, three is alright, four, we have a click, alright, one, still loose, two, three, okay, four, now five maybe, Five. Okay. Okay, back to the lock. Back to the lock. Hard to hard enough of a pick. So I think it's 
pretty much has proven that it is anti-pick. Which I mean is what we wanted. It's doing enough resistance to our picking attempt. Also trapping the pins a little bit, or the pick a little bit. All right. Let's try to pick it the other way. We haven't had any luck yet. So I'm going to guess there's probably, there's probably an overset pin in there. Yeah, I can get a full set going first. Okay. Let's see if I can find binders. Maybe pin five. Not, pick is not great for this one. Let's just put this short hook in for a moment. Just depends with the short hook. Not much going on there. Let's try this guy. Pin one. Where's the front there? He's not doing too much. Pin two gave a nice click though. And pin one again. Pin one again. Pin three. Let's click there on three. Okay, try four. New. Try five. Pick placement can be a bit challenging. Actually, try and get off that onto that edge where you want to pick from. The keyway does make it a tricky endeavor. But we can see we're picking it from the pack and it offers a good challenge. Now I've got other ideas and methods that I could try to get around this and get this to work but I'll be saying everything on YouTube this is just trying to pick it Let's see this is what you want though you want a lock that's gonna put up this resistance okay, so I touched five Two, three, maybe it's four. was definitely a good click there around what I think was pin stuck four. It was being difficult I think. So 
Let's see if I can find the next one. Could be pin stack five. Getting onto him is a bit of a challenge. Let's just have a look at the other pins first. Make sure. So, pin stack one. I think he's good. I think two is good. Three. He might be doing something. Four, I think, is fine. I definitely think maybe five is up to something. And then six. Six, I think, is the binder. Problem is getting the pick around onto him. Let's try this. So, I have to pull the pick forwards though. That makes it difficult. Get on him. Challenging, challenging loss. Portuguese keys are Chavis. In German, keys are Schlüssel and lock is Schloss. Okay. Finding it hard to figure out what we're on now. Let's try a thicker pick and see if that can help help us figure this out. Pin one, pin two, pin three, pin four, could be pin five. Three again, maybe. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Oh, what a, what's a headache trying to pick through this one, huh? There could be an overset pin in here. And to check for that, I will use a rake. And hope that it undersets that pin. Okay. So I've got a little bit of movement. Hopefully that was what we needed. Just get our hook. Test the pins. Right. So one. Start from the back. Oh, there's something going on here. So 
I'm going on with that pin to get some feedback from him. Get something on that one. Don't know what these security pins look like, but they don't give the same feedback as spools. Spools are easy in comparison. Okay. Let's put it to the back and test those pins. If I can just rotate the pick a bit more, that would be great. Okay. Well, pin 5 might be giving clicks. Yeah, there you go, a bit of movement. Now 6. Six, I think it's picked. I think. Um, five might still be getting picked. Maybe it's four. Let's move on to three. I think three is binding. Something going on in here. Two maybe. I'm getting clicks anyway. If I, I'm working on pin two. I'll try something a bit different. If I can. Forwards. Let's have a look at pin one. No. Two, no. Three, no. Four. I think four is doing something. Pretty sure four is doing something, but we can't quite get our pick on him nicely right now. Let's try the next one. Okay. What is going on with pin four? But I'm sure he's our binder. See if I can feel for pin four with this guy. Maybe I can tickle pin four into position. Imagine if there was something really weird going on in here. There we go. Finally. I think it's fair to say this lock puts up good pick protection or pick resistance. I don't know what time we're at, but sure you would agree with me and we saw we picked it out of the packet it resisted all those novice picking techniques like raking so pick resistance yes bump resistance probably yes those pins and drill resistance yes so if you're looking for a replacement cylinder rim cylinder I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this because with that profile, key profile, you are likely to be able to get extra keys cut rather easily too. So, but you will sacrifice key restriction, but if you're careful with your keys, you won't have to worry about fake or extra keys being made that you wouldn't authorize to be made. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and bye-bye.